All right, it's just a little quick tip today on how to develop more consistency in target shooting. This is really specifically for target shooting. This is what I use to, to help me with my line on targets. I have a line drawn on the band and I line up with a, usually it's an imaginary line below the target. The target, let's say, is there. The idea is to stay between this line and this line. Don't worry when you start out about whether you hit that or not. What you're going to do is start about down here and then just raise your slingshot up slowly and then exhale starting about right here. Exhale very, very slowly and as you hit there, release and then swing on past it. So don't stop there. So you're going to line it up here, start exhaling slowly, focusing on the movement, not on the target. Don't get nervous, just movement of going up that line and release there. So that when it's just a circle, you're still imagining this line being there. Once you can keep all your shots in here, then worry about the horizontal but get the vertical down first the vertical is the easiest part of shooting to get down make sure you can be vertical before you worry about being horizontal a couple tips real quick if you continue to hit this side and you're consistently hitting over here your bands probably are too weak for your ammo your ammo is probably overpowering your bands on the other hand if you keep hitting over here consistently you may have too light of ammo or maybe you're flipping your wrist too much and you're not lined up. So here's the pull. You pull back, you're it's perfectly lined up. And I like to have a very, very thin, uh, I don't like this to be thick at all because it creates just very little resistance here, and very little drag. So I pull back here, line up. Don't be this way, don't be that way. Perfectly in the middle, line it up. Move up your target, release, and move on. Let's see how that works in reality. All right, so we're back at the 10 meters. See if you can see if you can see what my slingshot is doing as I'm releasing. Windy right now, gust of wind comes. Best to wait if it's windy until your everything's perfectly still. Ideally. Because the wind's blowing this way, my first two shots are actually a little bit to the right because of leaning. We have a little bit of wind coming this way. So everything was a little bit to the right of this line over here. That one, I really fell back off of it. But as you can see, these four, this is two inches from here to here. These four would have been, it's probably a one inch group right there, these four. But it's plenty acceptable in target shooting. Uh, just to give you an example, but I come up here, like I said, I come up here. It's a little hard to get an, ex to get an exact shooter when you're trying to demonstrate, but still, I come up this line, release here. And uh, it's just that simple. I'm still moving as I go. When you start trying to hold still right there on that spot, you start doing this. 
all over the place. So it's best just to exhale, exhale, release, and go on through. Maybe this helped a little bit, we'll see.